Yes, sir. So we're back at old CW. Yeah. If you're from the Dirty Dirty, we call it Kerwin's. What a hard R. <laughs> so anyway, uh, according to GP Magazine, uh, random news, they called Beast the best roller coaster in Ohio. The hell? That's crazy. I guess they didn't realize that the number one roller coaster ever built is also in that state, but right. whatever, what you do we heard. know? We're you just GP of, too, I guess. Ever heard of Steel Vengeance, right? <laughs> Maybe not. Something else is random is a quiz, right? So yeah. leave in the comment section, name as many roller coasters with a snake name as possible. Uh, how many roller coasters are named after snakes? I'll help you guys out. I'll give you a free space like in Bingo, Copperhead Strike. That's right. And speaking of Copperhead Strike, it's Mike's first chance to ride of the season and ever. So stay tuned. We're going to get his immediate reaction once he gets off of the latest mock ride U.S. Endeavor. Yes, sir. That said, let's get it cracking. Head into the park. Let's do it. All right, so we just noticed this on the way walking to Fury. Uh, this used to be the River Rapids ride. So this might be a possible expansion change for 2020. Who knows? Interesting. There used to be a little uh, self dryer over here, apparently, back in the days of yore. So it looks like starting June 22nd, the Seasons of Cirque show will start here at the Carowinds Theater. Uh, just a few days ago when we were here, this was still a Copperhead Strike PR piece. Looks like now they're ready to promote the uh, new live show coming out very soon. The time has finally arrived. Here we are at the bottom of my number two overall coaster, the B&M Giga Magnum Opus, that is Fury 325. 325 feet in the air, balls to the wall fast, and damn, I love this thing. All right, Mike is locked into the clamshell, ready for his first ride of the season on Fury, and well, uh, we got a little ways to go, but he'll get, we'll get there, we'll get there. Gotta put you guys in a locker first. my number two for sure. Obviously it's a tier one. Yeah. I mean top five in a lot of people's books. And uh you ride in the back, you get slung over. I think my favorite seat is still in the front on the left hand side of the outside seat. Yeah. I say we go again. Let's do it. Definitely gonna ride a few more times. Line is very short. Yeah. That's me, man. I'm Luke. Cameras, what's up? What's up? We're at Gary. Gary, what's Gary up, Gary? Park. Gary, Park. that's awesome. Let's check it out. We got a, a pack of cards. We're gonna mix them up. Now, Mike, you're gonna hold out your hand for me, just like this, and have your other hand on top of it. Perfect. Oh. You're gonna hold on to whatever's on, whatever cards on top here. We'll take whatever's on top and make it simple. Queen of Hearts, check it out. Queen of Hearts here. Watch the Queen of Hearts, all right? Queen of Hearts is gonna go from here. Open up your hands for me. Queen of Hearts will go inside your hands. So you're going to put your other hand on top of it. That way I can get to it. Squeeze tight. I'll take the next card down. The next card down, though, is gonna be for me, okay? We got the, uh -oh. oh, the, wait. Should I just steal the, <laughs> Steal the Queen bag, what? Three diamonds. Isn't that crazy? Hell yeah. Yes, sir. That is awesome. This is Lou Kershaw. Yes, sir. Like and subscribe. Like fellas. and subscribe, 100%. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Much love, guys. Right. Nice meeting nice you. Nice meeting all. you guys. If you really want to have yourself an awful day, just hop on this thing right here. There's a reason Cedar Point ditched this. All right. What's up with that? That's really weird.
that's like part of the theming. No, that's. I think it's a sticker. It's a no, sticker. No, no, no. Someone just put their dog on it. <laughs> Yeah. Honestly, probably the smoothest boomerang. Yeah, it probably is. The time has arrived. Mike's first ride on Copperhead. No sea head strike, man. You ready? Nah. <laughs> Let's go ride the boomerang again. I'm scared. That launch, man, that launch. That zero to 50, bro. Scary. A lot of G's. A lot of G's. It's twice as intense as Top Thrill. <laughs> it's not an airtime launch hill. It just launches you off the track. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's ride, man. All right, here's a super annoying part of this queue line. I don't know why we're going backwards in time, but uh, they don't have chains here. They expect you to walk all the way through all these switchbacks. So instead, I got to climb through this. Look at these guys. They're doing the same thing. This is what you do. You got to climb through, climb through. Like, come on, guys. Same thing at Pandemonium at Six Flags Over Georgia. Like, let's get our queue lines together, folks. Come on, get it together. Off the first ride ever on Copperhead Strike. What are your thoughts, Mike? Very fun, man. Great ride. Awesome supporting cast for uh, the other rides that are here. It was a top three here, now it's top four. So, solid yeah. division. Afterburn, uh, buttery smooth. It's been running smooth after 20 years. It's super impressive, honestly. It's one of the better being in inverts. It really is. The, the bat wing is easily my favorite part of that whole ride. It's just a really cool element that you don't see on a lot of rides. Going, going into the tunnel. So hopefully, so unlike really this bad. guy back here, this ride won't go the way of the dinosaur. Hell yeah! I like NASCAR! And shoulders against the seat, please. There's rain in the distance. Doesn't really seem like it's gonna come this way. It's awfully close to us. But uh, right over here, it's the edge of the storm. I don't know, could pass. But in the meantime, 
There's a mass exodus happening. Everyone's leaving. Here at GP Coasters, we don't run from storms. We head right into them. <laughs> We're the storm chasers, but this ain't no Kentucky kingdom, y'all. So as we are walking in from the water park side, we're seeing this, everyone's walking out. Honestly, we thought that there was like a mandatory evacuation of the park, but we just got in. So this is all voluntary. Uh, if only they realize that the storm is moving out even faster than they are. And it's gonna be walk on city now that they're gone. Thanks guys. All right, I guess while we wait out the storm, I'm gonna grab some dipping Dots. Uh, sir, how much? Uh, 30 Bitcoin. So we're back on Intimidator. Yeah. Literally just walked on. Like literally walked on. Like didn't even stop in the queue line not once. As soon as we got into the station, the gates opened, we got in the row, and we sat in the seat. That's right. Crazy. Second ride of the day. Got to get it. Days starting to wind down, and uh, just want to give our thoughts on Carowinds. You know, this is kind of the park that really started it all for us. You know, yeah. About three seasons ago, we heard about Fury and came to this park, uh, just kind of trying to seek out the legend that is Fury. And Mike really started getting more into like, hey, uh, you know, this roller coaster Nighthawk is manufactured by Bacoma, and I'm like, what's Bacoma? And yeah. from there, it just got deeper and deeper into it, and now it's just a full-fledged passion. We yeah. love it. And, it all uh, started here. <laughs> it all started here, and I uh, love this park. We're gonna continue coming here every year, and uh, we're gonna yeah. get some night rides now. So uh, we'll catch you guys later. Yeah, let's do it. Hi, what are your names? And where are you from? Uh, I'm Grace Summers, and I'm from South Carolina. My name's Evan. I'm from South Carolina. Awesome. What's your favorite ride here? Uh, I like the Intimidators. Very nice. Any shoutouts? Go add my YouTube channel, Grace Summers, and go follow me on Instagram at gsummers.cc. Uh, sub to my Twitch, KSO Tragic. Uh, what game do you play? Fortnite. Fortnite, okay. Uh, nice. My Instagram's Evan Gold. All right, great meeting you all. Thank you so much. gonna do it for the Carowinds vlog yeah we got a couple night rides on Fury got a three night rides on Copperhead Strike and uh, the last ride we got on it was a back row ride by ourselves so that <laughs> the was craziest it. thing ever we literally rode Carowinds newest roller coaster yeah last ride of the night no one else is on the train seven ride ops in the station house 
just us in the back row. Yeah. Had the whole train all to ourselves. Pretty yeah. awesome. The only disappointing thing about it was the uh, headlights weren't running. So uh, it was definitely a, a, a true night ride on Copperhead Strike. Yeah, you can say that. Uh, but all in all, what a great day. Had an awesome time. Yeah. And uh, I guess we'll catch you on the flip side for GP Coasters. I'm Jimmy. And I'm Mike. Please like and subscribe. Check out our Instagram, at GP Coasters. And we'll see you next time. Peace.